Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how to set up custom invoices to get paid faster in QuickBooks Online. So I want to go through a couple things in this video. One is how to set up the custom invoices, but also uh, a couple of pointers, tips on what you should put on those invoices to make sure that uh, customers pay you faster and you just speed up the process of collecting money. Because this is a real problem I see in small business is uh, not, not necessarily setting up the custom invoices, but also what to put on those invoices to make sure you get paid faster. All right, so let's take a look here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to the gear icon and you're gonna see an option here that says custom form styles. All right, so if I pull this up, you're gonna see that, okay, we have no custom form styles in here. So you're gonna click new style and we're gonna choose invoice. And you saw there, you can do it for an estimate or a sales receipt. All right, so the first thing here we're gonna do is change it to whatever you're gonna call this uh, for your company. So we're gonna call this my custom invoice and we have these options up here, design, content, emails, and payments. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the design and you'll see you've got these couple of options. Now there's not a ton of options within QuickBooks uh, to change the design of the invoice, but you're gonna choose one of these. All right, so uh, let's say that we're gonna choose, we'll choose Airy Classic, we'll leave it on there. All right, next we are going to make logo edits. I'm not gonna upload a logo, but in your case for your business, I suggest you upload a logo. It just adds that you know nice touch, uh, a little bit of branding for your business. So you click here, you upload your logo, and it's gonna put it right on the screen. All right, try other colors. So you can uh, change the color of this invoice uh, for you know, the different uh, letters and, and so on and the fonts and what colors those are. All right, so if you choose that, it's gonna put that color on there. And you can also, if you, if you change uh, the design of this, you'll see that the different colors show up in different areas. All right, so we've got bold, uh, so it's the colors in the background, you've got friendly, et cetera. All right, so let's say fresh, we'll make uh, the color, Let's say we make it green, all right, because this is design and landscape. So green is, you know, the color of grass or, or trees. All right. Okay, now you can choose a different font. So if you want to increase the font here, you can change it so that it's a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit easier for people to read, and then edit the print settings. All right, so you can, uh, you know, the page margins, if you want to change this, you can use letterhead paper if you like. Uh, we're going to leave that off because we just want it to print on plain paper. All right, so we have these basic things set up. Now, the content, where this is going to become important, there's a couple things that when you send invoices for your business that you want to make sure that you include. All right, so I look at this invoice right here. And there's a couple things that stick out. All right, so to make sure that you get paid on time and quickly, uh, there's a few things you want to put on your invoice. Now, the first one is the due date and the terms. All right, so this is defaulting to include these due, the due date and the terms. 2-12-2016, terms net 30. All right, so this is going to be changed within the customer. So when you go into the customer setup and you edit this, uh, you're going to change your terms to whatever they are for your business. So if it's net 15, if it's 2-10 net 30, net know, or just net 30, whatever the case is, you want to change that in the customer setup and that will bring it in to the invoice for that customer. All right. So that's going to default. That's going to be on there and that's great. Okay. Now, a couple of other things on here that uh, you want to make sure that are on here that are not on this invoice. You need a clear remit to address. All right, so you've got the address up here for your business, but when I look at this, if I'm a customer, you know, you have to think of yourself as a customer looking at this invoice. If I'm looking at this, I don't see where to send my payment to. All right, so if, if I'm not paying online or, or by credit card or ACH or whatever the case may be, and I'm gonna send a check, where do I send it? Okay, because a lot of times businesses will have a physical address, you know, up here in the header, 
uh, but they may have a different pay to address. It might be a PO box, you know, whatever the case may be, or you could have different branches. This is the main branch, but the payment's supposed to be sent somewhere else. So you want to make it very, very clear to your customer where they need to send a payment. All right, so under this content screen, you can do a couple of things here. You can click wherever this is. So in this header section, you put, uh, you're going to check off, okay, what information needs to be on here? I like to give as much information as possible. You know, put a phone number because, you know, when you go, when people go to online banking and pay your invoice, if they do it through their bank, they have to put in a phone number for a vendor. All right. So just make this easy for your customer. Okay. So we're going to add that in there. Put in your email address so they can contact you. All right. So we want to include all that information, the address, you know, this is going to be your default street address and the website. Uh, you can put your website on there as well. All right. Now, form name, this is an invoice. You can change this name. It's not a big deal. Form numbers, uh, it'll automatically put numbers on there and it'll default to a, you know, a, sequ a sequential uh, sequence of numbers. Or you can always use custom transaction numbers. All right, we're going to leave that off for now. Now, display. You want to display the billing address, shipping terms, and due date. Uh, if this is not anything being shipped, you don't need to put that on there, but definitely have the terms and the due date. And you can add custom fields. All right. So in this case, we have a crew number. Uh, you know, personally, I don't see why that's important. So I'm going to uncheck that and take that off. But you can also add custom fields. All right. All right, so let's say now we have our header all set. We're good there. You can go down here to the middle section and you're going to uh, put you know, different items on your invoice. Now, for me, what's important as a customer, I do wanna see the date and the product or service description. Uh, you can include quantity and rate if you want to include that on there. You want to make sure that when you send an invoice to a customer, you're not leaving any questions in their mind. And because when there's questions in their mind, they're going to set your invoice aside and come back to it later. Now, the goal is you want them to pay you as quickly as possible. All right. So you want to give them details. Don't leave open-ended questions in their mind. All right. So we're going to say that this is uh, good. You can edit the labels and the widths. Uh, you can show more activity options down here. All right. So progress, markup, uh, show billable time. Okay. So you've got some options here to change. We're going to leave this as is. Okay. So now in the, imp the important section to me down here is the bottom. We want to show, if we click on the footer, you display a discount. Um, if you have a deposit, I like to show the deposit because that the, the customer will say, hey, I put a deposit down. Where is that on my invoice? So you want to make sure that you show that if you take deposits. Uh, if you want to show an estimate and you do estimates, you can do that as well. Message to customers on an invoice, okay, because we're doing an invoice. So here it says, thank you for your business. Have a great day. I think that's fantastic. It's nice to put a little note in there. But I also like to change this to please remit check payments to, let's say Craig's Landscape, P.O. Box 1234, anywhere, Kansas. We'll say KS12345. Okay, so we have that. That way they can see where they need to send payment. Now, I also like to make this a little bit bigger so they can see pretty easily, please remit check payments too. And this is where it's going to go. So you again, you want to make this very easy for them. Now, in the footer, I like to also reiterate that uh, if payment not received by due date, finance charges will accrue at a rate of 1.5% per month. 
Okay, so I, I just like to let them know that, hey, if payment's not received, you're gonna accrue a finance charge. It's, it's very good to let customers know this uh, so that they understand, hey, we have to pay this by the due date. All right, so now we've got our setup here. Uh, we've got a clear payment to address, the phone number, the terms and the due date, everything looks good. Now we're gonna go over to emails and you definitely to get paid quicker want to email your invoices, all right? So you can send the full details in the email or summarize details with the PDF attached. This is fine. Edit it, the email your customers get with every invoice. Subject invoice from Craig's Design Landscapers. You can change that if you'd like to. Dear full name. Okay, I think that sounds a little bit silly to put the full customer name, you know, first and last name. So just put first name. That's okay. Message to customer. Now change this to reflect the personality of your business. Most people leave it as default, but it says your invoice is attached. Please remit payment at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your business. We appreciate it very much, sincerely, et cetera. Now, you can change this to uh, reflect the fact, you know, that you have a personality, that you love your customers, whatever the case may be. But I like to make it not so bland, you know. So again, change it to whatever your business, the personality of your business. It just makes it more friendly that way. Now, reminder email. If you want to send a reminder to the customer, you can also set this up. Use this greeting, change it to first name. Uh, just a reminder, we have not received a payment for this invoice yet. Uh, please remember that finance charges will accrue for payments received after the due date. All right. Let us know if you have questions. Okay. All right. So we've got that in there and we've got this all set up with the, in, the emails. So again, definitely email your invoices. Now, the last thing here, payments, uh, allow online payments. All right. This makes it so much easier for people to pay. So you've got credit card or you've got bank transfer. Okay. You're going to have to set up a payment profile. And to do this, you're going to have to accept payments through QuickBooks. Now, uh, from my experience, the rates are a little pricey, uh, but you know, they can be competitive, but sometimes if it's a little more expensive and customers can pay you a lot quicker directly through QuickBooks, it's better to get that money fast and pay that a, a little bit additional fee than it is to wait on a payment. So I highly recommend you set up the online payment. All right, so I'm gonna uncheck those for this. We're gonna say done. All right, so now we have our custom invoice set up. So these are just a couple of tips on one, how to set it up, how to customize uh, your invoices, but also how to set it up so that you're putting things on that invoice to get paid a little bit quicker. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below uh, and also head over to the QuickBooks University where I teach how to do everything in QuickBooks, but also uh, you know how to do things to get paid quicker to make your business more successful. The website is qbuniversity.org.